KJ's Kitchen. I'm KJ. I am 13 years a master fitness trainer, a fitness nutrition specialist, and more important to me, I am a happy mom serving up healthy meals from my kitchen to yours every Wednesday here on Facebook live at 12 o'clock Eastern. So I don't know if you already saw the post, but we are talking about mayonnaise. How many of you have not found a great alternative? You're either reaching for the vegan version of mayonnaise or finding the cleanest option you have. Uh, a lot of people just don't like it, number one. Maybe this is a great alternative for those mayo haters out there. But what I have found is even if you're gonna find a vegan option or you're going to try to find the cleanest version of mayo, it is still not giving you max nutrients. It's just a bunch of fat. So I'm gonna give you an alternative today that you can use when you're mixing up anything like chicken salad. I, I haven't tried it with eggs yet, but I bet if you love this flavor, you might like it in your egg salad. You could definitely do it with tuna. You can even use it as an amazing dip for vegetables. Uh, once you've mixed it in with any of the meat of choice, you might even use that as a dip using either uh, some tortilla or even you know cucumber wedges or little sweet pepper half shells and using that for a really healthy snack or meal option like lunchtime. Don't we all love to have fresh vegetables at lunch? So let's get started. Now this is the easiest. I'm telling you so easy. You're going to be like, that's it? That's it. And that's why I love it. We always do easy peasy here in KJ's Kitchen. But it's three ingredients. And that's going to be your base. Based on when you mix that together and you love it like I do, uh, you can then stray. You can add things in, different herbs or something that might really get you going. Starting with a small little ramekin and the three ingredients I'll go ahead and show you is Greek yogurt. Now, are you using Greek yogurt as a substitute for sour cream already? I sure hope so because Greek yogurt is going to pack in the protein. Uh, sour cream does have some fermented benefit. Sure, there's some health benefit to that. It's keto friendly because it's high fat but it doesn't pack in the protein the way Greek yogurt will. And this has awesome culture. So what do we say? Like, like a active bacteria, yogurt cultures in it. So amazing for gut health. Uh, today I've got Faye, if I can say that correctly, please, uh, anyone can giggle or correct me in the actual comment fields. I really love C-A-B-O-T, Cabot, Cabot. I don't know how to say that one either because I know that they are pasture raised cows and I'm really big on that. They just didn't have that at the market when I went today. So Faye was my choice today. This is plain Greek yogurt. I don't go for the zero fat. That does not taste like sour cream to me. If you're okay with that palate change, go for it. But I love the 2% because you got 23 grams of protein to seven carbs which are sugars, which naturally occur in the dairy anyway. No added sugar. So we're gonna, we're gonna use this. Great alternative to sour cream when you're doing uh, dips or putting it on chili, tacos, whatever, but it is not an easy substitute for mayonnaise. So here's where I'm gonna show you what to add to your Greek yogurt to make it taste amazing to mix into all those salads you would be using mayonnaise for. Uh, one of these is Garlic salt, very different than garlic powder. It does have that salty punch uh, because it is garlic and salt mixed, right? Uh, this is an organic garlic salt, grabbed it at Walmart, really inexpensive. And last but not least, it, I am using essential oil in my dressing today. Why essential oil? Well, number one, it's gonna pack in more uh, health benefit because it uses the entire plant. It's not just a lemon. This is lemon essential oil uh, It's not just a lemon you're cutting and squeezing some juice and pulp into you've got the stem the root the peel everything in this and a little goes a long way so I can have this in my home and use it in so many different ways including cooking or in my morning water or daily detox water and I don't have to worry about those lemons going bad and for the price I mean 10 bucks for this baby and you're spending five bucks on a bag of lemons anyway if you're going organic so uh, I love the ease but we're gonna start with the oil because there's only one drop in this so if you already make 
everything and then you use the oil and you end up with two or three drops, oops, it's gonna taste too strong. So I do suggest starting with the oil to make sure you get only one drop in. Because if you get two in, you might wanna smear some out or uh, fill it with water and use it in your next water. So here I go, one drop, boop, and two fell in. That's what I'm saying. So I can see where the second one is. Uh, I don't have a paper towel here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just me personally get rid of that second drop because I already put some in my water today. All right, so you get your one drop of essential oil started. You're gonna go in for the Greek yogurt and you're gonna do a quarter cup. Now I am measuring this quarter cup per size of what I assume if you're gonna feed a couple people for lunchtime, you're going to use a particular 12 ounce can of either tuna or even chicken breast, right? So 12 ounce can is about a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. If you don't have babies in your house, you're missing out. I've got this amazing little baby spoon. My son is well past using this, but I will never let it go. It acts as an amazing little stir stick. It's got silicone or rubbery grips, so it acts as a really nice little uh, spatula as well to scrape the sides. I love this little baby spoon. Okay, and now the garlic salt. One quarter teaspoon garlic salt. So if you have more people to feed than a 12 ounce can of tuna or chicken might get you, you're just gonna double the recipe. And that is that, and it's three easy ingredients. What I'm gonna show you is how I present this to my family um, when making it into a salad. Yes, it tastes great as is. You could take your cucumbers right now, start dipping. It is really bright flavor because that lemon is potent. It is so fresh in flavor. So I know we're switching from summer to fall already. We just had our first day of fall a couple days ago, but there is no reason why especially in the heat, we still have in Asheville, you can't enjoy a very zesty, fresh salad. Mm. Oh my goodness. The garlic salt makes it pop. The lemon is so, like I said, it's vibrant, it's fresh. That is delicious. So I'm gonna do a chicken salad right now. I would suggest you first, uh, when you're buying canned chicken, it happens. I love to chop fresh chicken when I have leftovers from dinner. I save it, I chop it up, I use it in chicken salad the next day. But when you're in, in, in a fast paced mom world like me, it's very easy to grab a canned chicken out of the cupboard. Please comment below if you do that too. I want you to start reading the labels. I go with Trader Joe's because I love them. Uh, if you read the, the can on Trader Joe, it is white chicken meat, water, salt, three ingredients. If you read your label at a different store, even if it's, um, I know a lot of my family out in Michigan can shop at Walmart because that's what's local, you're gonna see crazy list of ingredients in a can of chicken, like modified food starch, uh, flavor, what's flavor? Okay, so start reading your labels, guys. That was my little key. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you might wanna look at something like Aldi's, which is Trader Joe's sister. Uh, sister company. So here I suggest getting the dressing, the mayo alternative, into the chicken first. Now you don't have to salt the chicken necessarily. You'll do, base it on your palate, right? Um, I will switch up spoons to make my stirring process easier. This little guy's great for tiny ramekins, but not so great for, ooh, don't miss that guy, uh, big big bowls. Here we go. I'm stirring this in first before I add what I would consider the nutrient boost. But here already we've got 60 grams of chicken, 60 grams of protein in this 12 ounces of chicken. Uh, you share this two ways. You got 30 grams each. You already have your added protein from this. You share it four ways. If you are looking at 15 grams each for a nice light snack. So depending on who you're feeding, what your protein needs are, we got you covered today. Uh, here we go. It really mixes up easy. I'll tell you, the chicken in the can breaks apart. I don't know how the light is. Breaks apart so easily. It's like shredded almost, right? That's because it's been pressurized into that can. So it falls apart just like a good pressurized uh, meat or anything you're doing. 
Now let's add green. You know my motto, the more green, the more lean. Green is lean. So today I am going to be adding in cucumber. Yes, I think a lot of people tend to add onion and celery to their tuna or their chicken. That's great. I got picky eaters in my home when it comes to celery, husband included. So I'm gonna go with cucumber. This is an organic Persian. I alternate my peel. That's also, again, to uh, give it color, keep some of the nutrition on, because there's a lot of good nutrition in the peeling, but also make it really pretty. I like to alternate the peel. I'm gonna cut her long once and then twice. So it's in quarter spears, right? It's an easy way of getting it done. Quarter spears, little long skinny ones. And then from there, I'm just gonna chop. And I, I like to keep them nice and squared. So we'll go about this size, a nice little square so it's easy, biteful. Uh, you could do thinner if you wanna disperse the cucumber more. But I, I tossed the chicken with the dressing first. That's gonna make it easier. Now here's where some salt might come into play. When you're adding in vegetables, uh, it will dilute the saltiness. So I will salt my uh, cucumber right now. And I'm gonna add in some green onion. I had this discussion, is this a green onion or a spring onion? What do you call it? Uh, there's a green onion here. Being the size of this bowl, I'm probably gonna do two nice, two nice hollows of that rather than three. Uh, just a preference. You can load up the onion depending on who you're feeding, how they like it. You could even use red onion or uh, shallot if you do like a stronger onion punch. Remember, this is lemon flavor. The, the, the dressing has a lemon punch, so you'll see how that goes with your palate. Now that I've added the veggies, I give it another stir. So there's no separating the goodness here. No one's going to be picking it out. They're going to be eating per bite. They're going to be having cucumber and chicken salad, right? It's gorgeous. Yes, choose celery if that suits you better. You could choose anything. You could even put some you want it a little sweeter, you can put in some sweet pepper. Uh, it's really up to you and your family. Once you start playing around with this, you'll know. Really amazing, get the green going on in there, right? And now let's plate it, and I'll show you what I like to do to sneak in even more nutrition. So if you eat bread, I think a lot of people do. Who loves bread? <laughs> So I really recommend uh, sourdough as your bread option. Um, this I got from the farmer's market. It's a full kernel rye sourdough. What is sourdough all about? They pre-ferment it, so the gluten involved is already fermented and what in my world, I like to say the word pre-digested for you. So unless you are really highly allergic, you are celiac, uh, you may not want to go here, but if you're just slightly intolerant, if you're intolerant to gluten, you might be really great digesting sourdough breads. This one in particular reminded me of Rolg Brol, which is, if I say that right, any Danes watching me right now? Uh, it's a Danish brown bread that I love. Every time I go to Denmark to visit my husband's family, uh, we love their homemade Rolg Brol. So I slice it very thin. Now this is a European way of eating a sandwich. I suggest everyone doing so. One slice of bread, you cut the carb in half. You can eat it with a knife and fork. But I'm not done. I'm not just gonna pile this on and say enjoy lunch. Because green is lean, right? Is that the truth? Um, so we're gonna rock out some spinach. My preference might be arugula with the lemon forefront of this, but I don't have arugula in my, in my fridge right now. I do have some organic spinach. I'm gonna take a chop chop here. Get rid of that guy. Thin, thin, thin sliced. I mean, this is a salad I'm delivering. I'm not gonna make them work too hard. I love chopped salads. And here's the beauty of it. With as much flavor as this dressing is punching your way, you don't even have to dress all the greens that you're putting on this plate. Now I am not shy, and my husband loves it as much as I do, to grab all of that salad, cover it up, get it loaded, and if it falls off, who cares? 
we're knife and forking this anyway, right? So get this salad loaded up. Green is lean. And then, depending on how many people are eating, we are going to top this puppy. I'll show you the beauty when we're finished here. Plating it up. Here we go. Now here's what happened. Can we see the lighting? I don't know how the lighting is. I feel like the sunlight's blinding me out. It fell. It fell all over the plate. I mean, it's not sitting perfect on a piece of bread. And that's okay because the only way to eat this sandwich is with a knife and fork. So you're gonna sit and you're gonna cut and eat as you would any salad. This one just involves a little bit of amazing sourdough whole kernel rye bread, fresh baked here in Asheville. So if you wanna switch it up and do something like tuna instead, my daughter actually requested tuna today, I do suggest trying some alternatives like fresh dill. Put fresh dill in there, I already did it before you arrived. And it's the same exact base that I taught you, but I put in uh, a rounded teaspoon of fresh dill and stirred that up. Uh, I will be using a large can again of tuna. This one's albacore. I'm gonna quickly give you one quick lesson on tuna and then I'll let you go for the day. I would prefer skipjack and this is why. It is like 70% less mercury, right? So the small skipjack tuna is going to give you less toxicity. Uh, I again didn't have any, had to run to a local market, Trader Joe's is a further run. So I ended up with some white albacore because the size of the can was, was perfect for what I need it for. But I would be going with two cans of skipjack tuna, they usually come small. They are sustainably caught and a whole lot less mercury, so healthier, the less toxin in, the better you feel, the healthier you are. Um, you would, if you don't love dill, you might try other herbs. You could do basil, fresh basil. Uh, lemon and basil are a really great combo. And just uh, chicken salad goes really well with tarragon. So get creative. I taught you the base. Taste the base. Explore with whatever you're stirring it up with or dipping it with. And please leave comments. Tell me what you added or how did you make this, this substitute mayonnaise suit you and your family's needs. So if, I hope this served you today. High protein, very easy. Was that easy or not? Three ingredients for a substitute mayonnaise using high protein Greek yogurt. And if this served you today, please share it on your wall. Uh, tag a friend who you think this recipe might serve as well. And follow me if you're not already. I'm here every Wednesday live on Facebook at 12 o'clock here in KJ's Kitchen serving up healthy meals from my kitchen to yours. I will be posting an active link. That is a sign up link, so you can get all my recipes in your inbox. Uh, if you have already subscribed, there is no need to click that link again. This recipe, along with all other KJ's future recipes, are gonna be in that inbox of yours. So click the link, subscribe, share this on your wall, and I love seeing you here in my kitchen. Hope that you enjoyed today's recipe. See you next week. You have an awesome Wellness Wednesday. Take care.